the MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship 2019. Hello and a very warm welcome to the Convoy in the Park, the third annual running of this massive event here at Donington Park and of course home for the 2019 MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship. This is the fifth event of the season for the trucks. The fourth event, which we weren't with the fellas for, was at the Nürburgring in Germany. Let's get down into the paddock and get a little bit of gossip before things get underway. Jamie, fantastic to see you back on the grid for the British. Uh, Mid-season break for the for the European. How, how's that going for you? Yeah, good. Uh, a different experience. You know, we've uh, pushed on throughout Europe this year. Uh, with our summer break, we had to support the championship and be here, really. Tom, we chatted to you at Brands Hatch with your sponsorship hat on, which was great. And now, even better, you're on track. How's it going so far? Oh, great. Um, uh, Basically, uh, Shane Brereton's truck come up for sale. I agreed a deal with him to buy the truck, clearly have a wee shot of it uh, down in Penbury. So we did that and I uh, kind of fell in love with it really, you know, so Dave Jenkins has kind of taken me under his wing. He kind of gave me three days training and then straight into the Nürburgring for my debut, you know, so, which was frankly terrifying. But uh, did okay there, you know, start the 24th and finished 8th. Um, uh, and then because of the reverse grid scenario, um, I ended up in pole position in the Nürburgring, you know, in front of, uh, you know, that big audience, which again, terrifying moment, but all builds up in your experience really, you know, so now I'm having a thoroughly fantastic time. So nine race wins on the bounce, I think equaling your own record, we're not sure, we need to dive back certainly a hell of a long way to find out about that. Enough from me, how are you feeling? You know, fantastic. You know, Thruxton, we won all four races. Germany, we won all three races. This is the first time I felt pressure in the probably the last 12 months because we've got a lot of guests, we've got a lot of sponsor commitments, and I suppose everybody else has. The pace is good. We're bringing this new truck out next week. No, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been fantastic, to be fair. Ryan Smith leads the championship and leads the field in qualifying here at Donington Park. Shane Brereton will join him on the front row of the group for race one. David Jenkins is next up in a bigger field of Division 1 this weekend. Division 2 headed by their championship leader Luke Garrett from Steve Powell, Paul Rivette and Eric Forster. Richard Collett, sadly problems I believe. Yeah, unfortunately uh, we've dropped a valve I believe and uh, so that's the end of that. Uh, it's done the internals of the engine. Not your year is it? No, I seem to be blundering from one catastrophe to another so uh, back to the drawing board. Uh, get it rebuilt and try again. It'll be a co complete strip down, new parts, etc. So I'm afraid that's my weekend over. So now you'll be looking ahead to the next meeting, which is Snetterton? Snetterton, yeah. I like Snetterton, so hopefully we'll, we'll be on top form for there. Shane, fantastic to see you back on the grid with the Brits. A little bit of a break from European competition. So tell us how that's going. Yeah, we, um, we won the FIA Newcomers Championship in Europe last year. So that was fantastic, which means we don't qualify for that race again. So now we have to play with the likes of Jochen Hahn and the big boys. So we decided that we'd invest in a new truck. So that's what we've done. We're having a sort of year out and this is a test weekend for us. Shane Brereton, great to see him back racing in the British Truck Racing Championship. It was Division 2 that kicked things off. A touch of deja vu with Luke Garrett leading the way, although he was closely challenged in the early stages by Steve Powell and up towards the flag, Garrett and Brock Powell in the field. In Division 1, the action came through thick and fast, but nobody could dislodge Ryan Smith, who continues his winning run, with David Jenkins chasing him after second, and Shane Brereton completed the podium. Well, uh, first time ever driving a truck round here was qualifying this morning, so um, 
it's very, very different from up here rather than being down there, that's for sure. Um, but thoroughly enjoying it, you know, qualifying went well, third for both uh, race one and race three. But we got fastest lap in the first race, so uh, so starting from here, you know, fingers crossed and uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Top eight reversed from the first race for Division Two, it means Paul Rivette's on pole. Top of Martin alongside, then John Powell and Eric Forstrom, Brad Smith and Adam Finn, row three, row four, Steve Powell and Luke Garrett resume back from there, Simon Cole, Jim Bennett, John Bowler completing the grid. John Bowler lacking a bit of pace with a few problems this weekend, but I'm sure he'll soon be up to speed in the number 14 truck. In truck with Brad Smith, ready for the start of our first partially reverse grid race. Where the conditions have been challenging so far today, it's Rivette and Martin on the front row of the grid, and they head down towards Redgate for the first time. Brad Smith looking to make a move already. Up ahead of him, Eric Forstrom gets away. Well, wow, big sideways moment from Trevor Martin. How on earth did he hold on to that going into Redgate? Brad Smith giving a little nudge to Eric Forstrom. Then three wide there, coming down through Hollywood. This is the battle for third place we're looking at. Forstrom there at the moment, just ahead of Brad Smith. Goodness me, physical stuff from these boys. And it looks like Smith's got the inside line down into the old hairpin, just out of shot. Then it's Luke Garrett, Trevor Martin, Steve Powell in yellow having a look at the inside line at Trev. Quite a bit of driving control from Trevor Martin going down into red lane. Held the truck, held his nerve as well. And it's Brad Smith in third place at the moment. Paul Rivette, though, the man who's looking to get away and make a little bit of a break in this one if he can. Great shot. It just makes such a difference having this high up shot from the trucks as they go up towards Coppice. Paul Rivette, though, heading down in towards the S's for the first time in the Taco Sis WD Motorsport 22 truck. This is his first full season, remember, of truck racing. And Briv, fifth in the standings coming here to Donington Park. The convoy in the park, massive beating. There in the sixth truck is John Powell running ahead of Brad Smith. We go. In truck again with Brad down the main straight. Brad is poised, I was going to say, to make a move. But so too is Steve Powell on his inside. Powell having a look. John Powell's going to go through and Steve will follow. Eric Forstrom is in behind in the bonneted truck. There comes Steve Powell making his way through. Powell has got the upper hand at the moment over Luke Garrett in this one. Luke Garrett looking a little bit off colour at the moment in this race. Steve Powell far from it, goes down the inside line, down the Grainers and take second position. So it's Rivette, Powell and Powell, Brad Smith, Eric Forstrom remains in fifth position. And then a little bit of a gap back to Simon Cole in sixth place at the moment. Through goes Vinti, John Bowler at the back of the field as well. A quick look there at Jim Bennett in the 28. Jim having to start 10th on the grid for this one just outside of the positions in race one that got swapped around. Remember it's a partial grid reverse these days for races two and four of each of the classes. Full event coming through the chicane. He's got a good lead. Fastest lap as well again. You heard in the interview prior to the race that he'd already set the fastest lap in race number one and he's going to come. Look at the lead that Paul Rivette has got over Steve Powell. And do not discount Paul Rivette from the championship title still, maybe fifth in the standings and 50 or so points down on the championship leader as Brad Smith is passed by Eric Forstrup. That's for third place. Eric up onto a potential podium. So down in towards the old hairpin they come. And Jim Bennett moves across, allows the second position truck of Steve Powell, the Dynes Transport HGV Direct MAN TGX of Steve Powell in second position, picking up some useful points here over Luke Garrett. Luke's got a very good championship lead. Brad Smith, though, still keeping Eric Forstrom honest at the moment. Daff chasing Sisu. Here is the ever spectacular Simon Cole, the Kent-based driver comes from Dartford in the Mercedes. That is a one heck of a truck, that one. And again, a driver who's been dogged with bad luck over the course of the season as past Luke Garrett. So Luke Garrett finds himself unusually a lap down in this race. Paul Rivette, though, in the Taco Sis truck, still out front, has had no competition in this one. It, he would have liked to have had a race for sure, but he's not going to wait for anybody, and he's certainly not hanging around in any sense of the phrase. 
And Steve now comes through second position. Now Steve still trying to chase down, but we've only got one lap of this 10 lapper to go. And the gap is over 10 seconds for Paul Yvette, who's already at the end of the straight. Eric Forstrom is still there running in a podium position. There is John Powell, who's just next up. And we ride on board with Brad Smith once again, Brad in fourth place. Rosetta will pick up 15 points for winning the race, assuming nothing befalls him on this last tour. Extra point for fastest lap as well. There is Steve Powell still chasing well. It's going to be good points for Powell here. Luke Garrett's running in 10, so second to 10 to pick up eight points here on Luke Garrett. Maybe nine if he can squeeze the fastest lap out of him here on the last 1.97 miles around Donington Park. Nearly a battle here going on. Brad Smith still busy chasing Eric Forstrom. John Bowler, the man that they were trying to close in on. John still having problems with number 14, Daft. But it's Paul Rivette who comes out of the chicane to see the chequered flag. Watch for the win. Paul Rivette takes another win in the British Truck Racing Association Championship. Sponsored by MV Commercial. Here in second place will come Steve Powell notching up yet another career podium and yet another 2019 podium. And Eric Forstrom will take third position. There he is in the distance, head of Brad Smith, who finishes in fourth. Eric crosses the line. Brad Smith is next up. Fifth position is going to go the way of John Powell. Here's how they finished. Rivette, Powell, Forster, Brad Smith, John Powell in fifth, and Simon Cole and Trevor Martin, Jim Bennett, and the fifth, and Luke Garrett completed the top ten. We were uh, just managing the gap at the front, really. I had a little bit more pace there if we needed it, and um, just on the radio to Wayne, basically, saying, look, we need the point for fastest lap as well as the win, so let me know what I need to do, and he did, and I did, and it worked well, and here we are on the top step with the Taco Sys truck. So, uh, you know, fantastic job by uh, everyone at WDE, all their hard work has paid off again. We was catching ball a little bit, but nothing, not not enough, you know, and I know we was on the pace of the fastest lap, but uh, I backed off the last couple of laps, there was no way I was going to catch him, you know, so we thought we are keep the engine all nice, so it's a no, great result to be fair, from seventh to second, I'll, I'll take that all day long. Eric, congratulations in third, any, okay. any problems? No, no problems. The car is fine and drive us is good. <laughs> Stuart, great to see you back out on track and Junior's with us as well, which, which is super. How did yesterday go, first of all? Went very well, went very well. You know, it's, uh, when you were up against it, you know, the, the kit we've got is uh, a little bit dated and a little bit underpowered compared to the, so these, you know, so the, the modern European spec trucks that's coming in. But uh, I, I, was, I was surprised, you know, when it, when it came in, from qualifying in fourth place and, you know, Michael, Michael wasn't, well, he was in seventh, wasn't far behind either. We've got the reverse grid racing today, so everyone's going to be stuck in gives that extra added element it absolutely absolutely it sorts the men from the boys as they say of <laughs> quite a swarm to you know in this race the second race or the first race today which so uh it should be interesting championship wise obviously you're in a, a strong position you picked up a win at the nurburgring which was great last time out you think first win of the season so you're really looking to get those points and climb back up but yesterday you did finish and finishing means a few points doesn't it it does, yeah, that was the main thing we did finish. Um, yeah, Nürburgring was an amazing time. We had uh, a first and two seconds. So big thanks for the team and everyone that came along with that. And did really well, I had dead happy with that. How's the weekend gone for you so far? Yeah, it's going very, very well. We're a lot quicker than what we was here last year. Uh, we're about between two and a half, three seconds a lap quicker. So we're getting more on the pace now, so it's good. <laughs> Second Division One race about to get underway. Plenty to talk about here because we've got, for us, debut man Tom O'Rourke who was at the Nürburgring. He lines up 12th on the grid. And Richard Collett, we thought his weekend was over, but coming to the rescue is John Powell. And John Powell has very kindly loaned Richard Collett his Division Two truck, so Richard Collett will, will be out there and banging a few points. And he's on the back of the grid. Simon Reid and Mark Taylor, though, head them across the line and to lights out here at Donington Park. A very busy Division 1 field goes down into Redgate. Taylor on the outside line. Remember, he is third in the championship at the moment. And what a super start. Simon Reid will be keen to try and build up a little bit of a lead and get away and try and grab another Division 1 win down through the Craner curves. This is all very wide at the moment. Shane Brereton running 
in fourth place. Then it's John Newell on the outside line. John Newell gets a wheel on the grass, opposite locks, heads towards the gravel. More opposite lock. Wheel spin, puts the power down and manages to rejoin. He's actually pointed the right way. The wheels are in the right direction. Joins, I think, in front of Tom O'Rourke. So it was a, a good rejoin for him. Meanwhile, being taken out wide is Mark Taylor. That was Jamie Anderson, I think, who was looking up the inside line. And all that means that getting away is Simon Reid in lead position. Stuart Oliver in the Volvo is second. There is Mark Taylor dicing with Fran Smith, the Rainbow Warrior. And good to see Franz over for this massive meeting. Super job done again to put on a huge, huge meeting here. As Simon Reid leads, Shane Brereton in third place in the Purple Apollo machine, followed by Dave Jenkins, who's already come through from seventh place into fourth on one lap. Jamie Anderson now is harrying the number one truck of multi-champion, defending champion, this year's championship leader, Ryan Smith. Ryan's going to... I think we all knew that Ryan's winning run could possibly come to an end this weekend. I'm not saying he's not going to win this one, but there is so much more to do in a reverse grid race when you've got some more European standard drivers coming over uh, and into the mix. So this race, I think, is going to be about points for Ryan Smith. He's still passed more drivers than anyone else all season. Leads the championship. I'll tell you what, he's having a, a decent run in fifth position at the moment. Right behind him is Terry Gibbard, who runs a, a wee bit wide. Jamie Anderson looks up the inside line. But now we've got Simon Reid coming under pressure. Stuart Oliver relentlessly trying to close him down. And don't, don't bet against any one of those top four, or indeed the fifth position man at the moment. Ryan Smith, there he is. Going through as the four leaders. Now look at Stuart Oliver, dives to the inside line, and Simon Reid has that covered. And now Oliver flicks to the outside, back to the inside again. Has he seen a gap? Oh no, Reid has got that covered. Oliver's got Brereton and David Jenkins right behind him. A little bit of straight lining at the chicane there for Simon Reid. And now Brereton gets a run on the outside line as they come downhill. Great shot there, shows the gradient here at Donington Park. Not always shown, but our camera at Redgate picks it up very nicely indeed. John Newell further back than he would like to be at this stage of the proceedings. Through goes Terry Gibbon, then the... GT truck of Michael Oliver the 77 there is Franz Smith Richard Collett still running as well he'll pick up two or three points even if everybody else finishes remember the division two truck big performance difference between division two and division one but great that Richard Collett is out there now the key thing here is that David Jenkins has been caught now by the championship leader Ryan Smith. We've still got Simon Reid out front, Stuart Oliver in second, and Ryan Smith was fifth a while ago. Now goes up into third place, Ryan Smith up onto a potential podium. And do not discount Ryan Smith from another win. He was so far back, he's done all that work as ever he does. And indeed, of course, the likes of David Jenkins do. Time and time again, coming through the field, and Ryan Smith now has got to chase the two leaders. At the moment, Simon Reid fending off the advances of multi-champion Stuart Oliver, who comes down into the chicane once again. Reid, Oliver, Ryan Smith, Shane Brereton. Then it's Jamie Anderson in the 23. Down the straight they go once again. And Simon Reid, I tell you what, driving well here. Fastest lap of the race is with Brian Smith, unsurprisingly. There is Mark Taylor, just at the head of that group. And Tom O'Rourke in the 86 truck. This is his first meeting uh, in, is, as far as truck racing goes in the UK. Had a, a good debut in the Nürburgring. We'll try and catch up with him before the end of the programme. And there's Ricky Collett in the unfamiliar number six, driving well, entertaining his fans. And he does have fans, no question about that. Great character worked so so hard and has just had rotten luck but now Ryan Smith is all over the back of Stuart Oliver this gives a little bit of breathing space in my book to Simon Reid who is out front and Simon Reid here could well get the win Oliver and Smith goodness knows how many championships between those two drivers and Ryan Smith from the eighth position on the grid is all over the back 
of returnee Stuart Oliver at the moment. It surely is going to be a Simon Reid win. He comes up into Cobbis for the last time. Shane Brereton not far away as well. David Jenkins is also up with the lead group as well. Currently in fifth position. Terry Gibbon in sixth. Michael Oliver in, in seventh place. But here comes the uh, chasing group a little bit further back. We've got Mark Taylor in the mix there with Tom O'Rourke. But through she came for the last time. Simon Reid is going to take the win and it's an orderly queue at the moment for second place headed by Stuart Oliver from Ryan Smith and Shane Brereton as they cross the line. Reid wins, Oliver second, Ryan Smith third. Shane Brereton taking four. David Jenkins in fifth, Terry Gibbon, Michael Oliver, Mark Taylor, Tom O'Rourke and John Newell. Simon Reid, many congratulations on the win. Talk us through. Well, just managed to get a clear break from the start and um, just, you know, sort of keep myself together, really, and crack on, you know what I mean? Don't look behind and <laughs> just keep the, but you know, just keep the pedal down, basically. So, Oliver, back on the podium, cracking race from your perspective? Yeah, it was fantastic. You know, I wasn't starting from a fantastic place. I was uh, on the third row, but uh, the opportunities arose without having to push anything out and, you know, do anything silly, and uh, I got... Up, up into second, but you know, credit to Simon, he drove, he drove like a trooper. You know, he was, he knew what he was doing. He was backing us off in the places I had no chance of getting through, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was, uh, it was just going to do with a few more laps. Those reverse grid races with bigger fields are, are hard. It's good points again, though. Yeah, you just didn't do anything because you don't know where you're going to get uh, bombarded into, and it's just got to finish the race, as you see. So, yeah, good fun that it was for wakes you up on a Sunday morning. Steve, good to chat to you as chairman of the BTRA. Thoughts on this weekend? Good afternoon. Yeah, what a fantastic day, isn't it? We've got a massive grid of trucks here this weekend, more than any before this year. Good crowd, lots of trade and industry support. Very good event, isn't it? The show doesn't stop here, though, does it? Because we've got a run into the end of the season. Obviously, Brands Hatch is the end of the year, the big firework meeting. But our next stop is Snetterton, another meeting that's growing in stature. Yeah, we're off to Snetterton in September there way out east and then of course we're way out west to Pembrey and uh, finishing off at uh, Brands Hatch Bonfire Night. But it's building event on event and uh, we're very pleased with the progress of it uh, with the MV Commercial BTRA Championship for this year. The third race of the weekend for Division 2 was action packed once again as pole position man Steve Powell headed third place on the grid for event with Luke Garrett dropping back after having some problems. Rivet nipped through at the chicane, Steve Powell in second position in tricky conditions and Eric Forstrom up into third. The action was coming thick and fast right the way down the order. Steve Powell tried to get the lead back to no avail. He did recover for second though behind Paul Rivet with John Bowler in third. The third race of the weekend for Division 1. Ryan Smith fastest again in qualifying on pole from Shane Brereton. Row 2, David Jenkins and Stuart Oliver, John Newell and Terry Gibbon on row three, then Jamie Anderson, Simon Reid, Mark Taylor, Tom O'Rourke, Michael Oliver, Franz Smith and Ricky Collett completing the grid, ready for lights out. And we go racing in very slippery conditions. The one thing we haven't had is consistently great weather, but it's a great start as ever, consistent by Ryan Smith from pole position who leads. So it's Smith leading, David Jenkins in second place, Shane Brereton in third, John Newell is in fourth. John trying, of course, to hunt down Mark Taylor in the championship standings. And Mark, a couple of trucks behind them. We've got Simon Reid dicing hard there with Terry Gibbon. Gibbon in 37 up front. Fran Smith looking around the outside of the Taylor's 81. Then it's Michael Oliver. Michael in the 77 truck. Getting stuck in is Ricky Collins. Qualified in the 95 truck before the problems took over. Collett in the number six and the wet may well be a, a big leveller here for Rick Collett might be able to get amongst uh, a few more points so we'll see how things unfurl for him over the course of this race but this is the penultimate race of the weekend for Division 1 and it's Ryan Smith out front at the moment Dave Jenkins next up Shane Brereton is in third the clouds in the background look like they're going to give up some more rain as well so it's been very very difficult here for these guys, I'll tell you what, John Newell looking pretty handy here in the wet at the moment as well, back in fourth place. 
as down in towards the S's come the two drivers, first and second in the championship. Dave Jenkins in the high ab Digraph MAN chasing the Taylor's MAN of Ryan Smith. We still await Ryan's new truck, as you heard in the interviews earlier on, hoping to bring that out next time at Snetterton. Across the line they go. Smith, Jenkins, Brereton. battle for the lead in the third race for Division 1 on the MV Commercial British Truck Racing Association Championship here at Donington Park and this one could still go any way out of the top three but the pole position man Ryan Smith has consolidated the lead he has come under pressure from David Jenkins but he hasn't looked like being passed at the moment very tricky conditions out here Smith leads them down the exhibition straight Jenkins with nobody in his rear view mirrors at the moment so might be able to, to execute a bit more pressure on the number one truck of the defending champion Smith comes through a little bit of a gap back Shane Brereton coming under pressure from John Newell at the moment John in fourth place so through they go to tick off another lap in this penultimate race of the weekend for division one such are the numbers this weekend that Division 1 and Division 2 running in separate grids all the way through. So eight races for the fans here at Donington Park. There is Simon Reid running in fifth place. So another decent result here on the cards for Simon Reid. Part-time racer this year. Mark Taylor going through. Jamie Anderson busy following him as well. Anderson runs a little bit wide. Now remember, these guys are going to be looking at starting the final race of the weekend. The partial reverse grid. They could be up at the sharp end and potentially on pole. Tom O'Rourke gets it a little bit wide. The MV commercial truck, really good to see Tom out and racing with us. And he's passed there by Terry Gibbon. Those guys dicing for 11th position at the moment ahead of them. Jamie Anderson in seventh place Mark Taylor at the moment in six and look how close they get Jamie Anderson of course who cut his teeth with us with a full season last year and looking on the inside line of Mark Taylor we look further back now Richard Collett the second of these trucks remember that's a division two truck and mixing it with the likes of Brand Smith so Richard Collett here is going to pick up probably more points than he thought he would when he accepted the offer of John Powell to race that truck. David Jenkins still busy chasing. Ryan Smith comes on to the last lap. 1.9 miles to go. Ryan Smith looking Smith looking reasonably comfortable at the moment. Shane Brereton still in third, heading for another podium. But John Newell is looking keen here. Has a look down the inside line. A little bit too far back at the moment to do anything about that. Terry given up ahead of Tom O'Rourke now. So that battle, I think, is uh, settled and Tom running incidentally in the X Shane Brereton machine. Here goes Jamie Anderson up ahead of Mark Taylor. So Anderson six, Taylor seven. Michael Oliver is next up and things relatively settled at the moment. Terry Gibbon and Tom O'Rourke continue on their way. They're not going to lose a lap to the leaders in this one. So fair play to them in these very tri tricky conditions going across the line. And once these two are through, the next truck to pass the start-finish line is going to be the group of leaders, but we still see a little bit more of Terry Gibbon and Tom O'Rourke coming down. Tom really improving race on race. Hasn't raced for a, a long time, has never raced trucks before, but we've got a battle on for the lead because David Jenkins is closer to Ryan Smith. There's Shane Brereton, John Newell still in fourth, getting closer to is Simon Reid as this race goes on. I tell you what, there's a few drivers out here that might fancy another couple of laps, but time is time, it's a 15 minute race. This is the last lap of this one. Ryan Smith coming down again to back another win to add to his tally for 2019. And he's going to win from David Jenkins, who will pick up valuable second place points again. There's the checker, Smith wins, David Jenkins in second, those two clear of Shane Brereton, who is in third and about to cross the line. Now Brereton in third, John Newell in fourth, then Simon Reid, Jamie Anderson sixth from Mark Taylor, Michael Oliver eighth ahead of Fran Smith, Richard Collett, then Terry Gibbon and Tom O'Rourke.
fair play to Dave the way he drove then and you know he, he obviously got his setup right and I don't want to take anything away from Dave's drive or what we've just achieved really because the truck was woeful but we managed to do it it was honestly I've got to give him plaudits because it was clean it was fair and boy it was fast let's bring Dave in as well get the two of you together here but David yeah I know it was uh, definitely a it's a show, showcase of talent that was, uh, you know, that was very, very, very tricky. In some ways, my job was a little bit easier than Ryan's because he was the first to get, you know, he was the one that needed to work the braking areas out and all that sort of stuff. I passed him, absolutely stunning move, coming onto the back straight. I really boxed him up in the chicane, composed myself, drove out of there, deliberately left the door open into Redgate because I didn't want to compromise my line into Redgate. I had one chance at getting away from him then and not letting him on the bumper. He was on the wet side of the road, he stuck it in on the brakes, he nearly ran it in, I went for the cutback and just missed it and that was the one chance I had all the race and then Ryan was slowing us down so much, a chain was coming on and it was just a difficult race but um, just glad we all finished the right way around, it's, uh, it's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> To. John Powell on pole, that has been a busy truck this weekend with Rick Collett racing it, Brad Smith alongside and then Adam Bint and Luke Garrett on row two, Eric Forstrom with John Bowler on row three, Paul Rivette the previous race winner for starting eight, top eight in the grid reversed from the previous race result. Brad Smith leads them down across the line and we are truck racing here at Donington Park once again so it's Brad Smith, but look, round the outside in green and white, Luke Garrett is going for the lead. He's got the lead as they go to Redgate. Luke Garrett from fourth on the grid. Incredible start from him. In truck with Brad Smith. Going through is John Powell up into second place. Powell giving chase at the moment to Luke Garrett, who has had problems. In, and that's Paul Rivette from eighth on the grid. Rivette is taking second position as they go down through the Craner curves. In just two corners, Rivette goes from eighth to second position. Incredible drive from the WD Evo to Sport Tacosis sponsored truck. And Paul Rivette, who's done many laps here in Clio's, knows the track very well indeed. And it's Rivette up into second. He, without a doubt, has been the fastest man of the meeting thus far. Brad Smith's on board again, giving us a super view. Rivette now has got to try and hunt down Luke Garrett. The question is, has Luke got his truck sorted enough after the early meeting problems? to fend off Rivette, given Rivette's pace off the start, that's going to be one to watch. We've got John Powell third, Brad Smith in fourth place. Don't forget Steve Powell as well in yellow. He's working his way through from seventh on the grid. And we'll have a look. Riv goes through, Steve Powell at the moment six. He's behind Adam Bint in the black and orange bonneted truck. Then it's John Bowler in the 14, who I think has got his problem sorted out in the DAF as well from earlier on in the meeting. So down into Redgate they come again. Rivette piling on the pressure. Still John Powell next up. Brad Smith, I think, might have a look down the inside line. Steve Powell going around the outside of Adam Bint and challenging. Then it's John Bowler. Eric Forstrom is next up. Brad Smith, you can see from the onboard blue skies. Battle for the lead here between Luke Garrett and Paul Rivette. Paul has had a stunning meeting so far. Garrett runs a little bit wide there. Under big pressure, John Powell third. Brad Smith next up, Steve Powell about to try and pass Adam Finn, Eric Forstrom is next, then Simon Cole in the Beast, 41 truck, we were so used to seeing that on the podium a year or so ago, but he's had so many issues with the truck, fingers crossed that we'll see him back on podium pace real soon, Rivette meanwhile still challenging hard, and look at the battle for third, Brad Smith down the inside line now of John Powell, we'll see if he can go through, We come side by side now and it's Brad Smith being challenged by Steve Powell as they come down into the braking area into the chicane Steve Powell is going to make it through Powell's through Brad Smith relegated to place Powell having to maybe use a little bit more of the chicane than he would have liked and maybe than the officials would like but it's all in safety Paul Rivette leads but for how long Rivette is slowing up and back into the lead goes the 42 machine of Luke Garrett. Rivette led across the line. Luke Garrett is back in the lead and Paul Rivette is slowing. Look at that move by Steve Powell. Throws the three truck down the inside. A little bit of opposite lock from him. And now a massive lead for a driver who's been underpowered for much of the meeting. Luke Garrett, Steve Powell second. 
Third place is John Bowler, and John is all over the back of Steve Powell at the moment. Paul Rivette has parked up, he's out of the race. And the fastest man on track is the second of the ones we're looking at here, the number 14, the DAF of John Bowler, fastest on that. Seven of this race, 1 minute 30.014. Brad Smith, all he can do at the moment is watch the battle for second place. But nonetheless, very useful points in the offing here for Brad Smith. He's clear of Adam Bids. We've got the two bonneted trucks together. Eric Forstrom closing up on the former champion, Binti. There is Steve Powell. He's got a bodywork awry on the back. Hopefully, it won't be a black and orange flag. I'm sure all will be OK. Different parts of the circuit basking under different conditions. We've got blue sky from some of the onboards and then dark clouds over some of the others as Luke Garrett continues on his way. There is Paolo Bola, still a super battle for second position. Enthralling stuff from them. Jim Bennett goes through. Jim running in 10th position. The leaders are on to the last lap and a very wide moment there from John Powell. John in seventh position. Brad Smith passed by Eric Forstrom. That's fourth place. Eric is through into fourth. Dab on the brakes, he comes down into Redgate. This is the scrap on the last lap for second position. Without a doubt, these two are closing in on Luke Garrett and could probably do with another lap or two. It's Garrett leading. He looks safe. Steve Powell second under big pressure from John Bowler. Eric Forstrom fourth. Brad Smith would like to get that back. And it's Adam Biff running in sixth place. A quick look back. John Powell is ahead of this man. That's Simon Cole in eighth position. So some good points going to be scored here. The only retirement of the race is Paul Rivette and that allows Luke Garrett. Look at that massive moment for second place and a big sideways challenge from John Bowler who scrubs off all his speed but he's very spectacular and finished third. Steve Powell second and Luke Garrett taking the win whilst we watch the sideways shenanigans of John Bowler out of the chicane. Here comes Eric Forstrom who will take fourth place from Brad Smith. Adam Bint will be in sixth position, wrapping up a superb race for Division 2. Confirmation of the results. Top six followed by John Powell in seventh from Simon Cole, Trevor Martin and Jim Bennett. You maybe weren't expecting to, to go away with a win, but a fine way to wrap up the weekend. Yeah, um, I don't know if we'd have done it if Paul had any, had any problems, but, um, but um, yeah, we've only got five cylinders running, so uh, I, that's why I was optimistic whether we were going to be uh, on the podium. So. Um, all I had in my head, I had a break free and then trying, you know, obviously Paul caught us up and that had problems. But yeah, I'm over the moon. Um, we, we really thought last night we were going to end up with no points, obviously, from, from the uh, dodgy injector. So uh, to have a win is, is brilliant. Final race of the weekend, and it's the fourth race for Division 2. Michael Oliver on pole position with Bart Taylor alongside the top eight from the result of race three for Division 1 are reversed. That means that Ryan Smith starts P8, David Jenkins alongside him. And this one, well, 16 more points up for grabs as Oliver and Taylor lead them across the line with Simon Reid in third place. And here we go, a fast start by the white 23. Jamie Anderson looks down the inside line of Michael Oliver, squeezes through and down into Redgate and into second position. That was a very ambitious move by Anderson. And Michael Oliver allowed him the room. So it's Anderson second, Oliver third. Shane Brereton is in fourth from six on the grid. A good start from, from him. Simon Reid is next up. Then David Jenkins, John Newell in the white and blue truck. Number 18 followed by Ryan Smith in number one. It's Terry Gibbons, Stuart Oliver. Franz Smith is next up. Tom O'Rourke in the mix as well. Tom enjoying his first truck racing weekend here in the UK. As the battle is on for the lead now, Mark Taylor. Ryan Smith's teammate out front and has already bagged a couple of podia so far this year. And what we're seeing with Mark Taylor is that every time he starts off the front, he builds more and more confidence. If you'd have looked at his first meeting last year at Pembrey, that storm-battered meeting we had, as a brand newcomer, and indeed Brands Hatch after that, place him on the front, and it's a scary thing for someone who hasn't raced anything before, let alone trucks, but he's built his confidence every single time he's been off the front of the grid. He's had podiums, and that first win is not that far away, mark my words. And bear in mind that he had a podium at only his third meeting. That was it. Brad Hatch just challenging for the lead now. It's Jamie Anderson. Looks down the inside line as he did to take 
second position on lap one, but can't quite do it. Now, has he got the momentum? He sticks with it. Mark Taylor sticking to the outside line, and Jamie Anderson goes through into lead position, but Mark Taylor won't give up without a fight. Third position now is Shane Brereton in purple. Shane will do everything he can to try and close down on the lead duo. Michael Oliver is next up, then David Jenkins. Brian Smith now ahead of Simon Reid. John Newell is next, then Terry Gibbon. Gets a seven, and Stuart Oliver is in behind as well. So through McLean's goes our race leader, Jamie Anderson. Tempted to say Jamie Oliver with two Olivers in the race, but. Certainly, Jamie Anderson is, is cooking up a good race plan here by trying to get clear of Mark Taylor. And Mark, as we're seeing, is, is getting more and more difficult to pass as he gets faster and faster in the truck. And he's got Shane Brereton, another multi-race winner, right behind him and putting the pressure on. So Anderson leads, comes through the chicane. Brereton teed up that move nicely in the Apollo 17. But now coming back at him is Mark Taylor. Jenkins up ahead of Michael Oliver now and going through as well he's going to be the championship leader Ryan Smith great sight and sound these trunks make as they go past the start finish line here and still plenty of place changes to go in this 15 minute race how many laps are we going to get out of it I reckon 10 or 11 laps in the timed race so it's Jamie Anderson out front Shane Brereton second from Mark Taylor then Mark at the moment has David Jenkins between himself and his teammate. Then it's Michael Oliver, the red, black and white truck of Simon Reid, who we've already seen pick up a win. Then John Newell's coming under pressure now from Stuart Oliver. Oliver looking on the inside line. See whether he can make that stick as the race leaders go through Coppice Corner once again. Oliver from Simon Reid, John Neal still there at the moment, Shane Brereton in second, there is the third place truck, I'll tell you what, Ryan Smith is getting a little bit racy now on the back end of the truck of David Jenkins, number 69 machine, Jamie Anderson no problems though at the minute, still leading this one, I was beginning to think that Anderson wasn't being caught by Shane Brereton. Their times are very similar, but Brereton is chipping away at it. Seems to be banging a few faster laps here and there as Michael Oliver, again, trying to get stuck into John Newell. His dad's going to have a little run here, and the bonneted Kelsa truck is going to go on the inside line here. Michael Oliver, I think, has seen Stuart, and uh, since Stuart wants to maybe take the inside line down into Redgate to make up the position. But Jamie Anderson's still there. Brereton, now you can see, He's closing up, he's getting a, a little whiff on first position in his nostrils at the moment as Mark Taylor begins to come under pressure from the Digraph high, high amp machine of David Jenkins. Jenkins himself under massive pressure from the championship leader who's got his lights ablaze as well. So it's Jenkins the meat in a Taylor's sandwich at the moment. Three copies they go. Jenk still there. Ryan Smith putting on the pressure. Simon Reed got that far away as well. The 89 truck. Here we come up the hill into Coppice. And Taylor's running wide there. Past the camera at Coppice and onto the straight. We'll see how that's uh, played out. We're back with the leaders coming down in towards the S's though. And it's Jamie Anderson still there from Shane Brereton. Brereton piling on the pressure, but what about third place? Well, third position now is David Jenkins from Ryan Smith, then Simon Reid, a very sideways Stuart Oliver, always spectacular, and Mark Taylor is behind John Newell. So Mark Taylor had a little excursion off away from our camera at Coppice. Big wild, look at that, another big, big wild moment for Oliver Jr., who gets it sideways, Michael Oliver, his front row start. Finds himself a little bit further back than he would like to be, but rejoins from the Grand Prix circuit and carries on. Well, no, he doesn't carry on. He's going into pit lane there. So, looks like he is out of it. Rick Collett's still going. There is Tom O'Four ahead of Rick. So, Tom in white goes through shot. It's the battle for third place. As the race leaders again come up to Coppice. The thing about truck racing is that Cameramen aren't allowed on certain parts of the track to go well back, and we have to leave locked cameras in position. 
and uh, that can make things tricky, but obviously safety is paramount for everybody if the uh, cameraman got clouted. Now look at that line there. That was a very fast entry into Coppice by Ryan Smith, who is challenging for third place on David Jenkins. But here we come, then the race leaders down into the chicane again. Jamie Anderson coming under pressure. And there's a little bit of a lock up there from Shane Brereton. Here's the battle for third. And Jenkins has been passed. So that entry, that quick entry into Coppice Corner by Ryan Smith gave him the momentum to go through and pass David Jenkins on the run down into the chicane. So now, but the question is, it's a big gap between first and second. Simon Reid having a look as well. Sideways stuff once again from Mark Taylor up ahead of Terry Given in the 37. They go across the line with Tom O'Rourke in 10th down behind them. The battle for the lead. Well, Shane Brereton has managed to reel in Jamie Anderson, but thus far has not been able to put in a particularly serious challenge. There is still enough time on the clock for these guys to try and close down. Stuart Oliver all over the back of, at the moment of Simon Reid and John Neal trying to close in on Simon too. Leaders go through again. Look how the gaps come down now with the number one truck of Ryan Smith in third place. The significant thing about Ryan's third is that Jamie Anderson and Shane Brereton, of course, are not regulars in the British Championship this year. This, at the moment, a one-off for them, so it means that Ryan will bag the most points out of all the British Championship drivers. Nobody, none of the regulars are taking any points out of him in this race, but having said that, he always wants to put a show on for the fans and he always wants the chequered flag as the leaders go through to chicane again. And you can see the determination from Ryan Smith trying to close in. Jenkins in fourth, still in the mix as well. On to the last lap they go here at Donington Park. The festival in the park. The convoy in the park is about to be to come to an end here. Just two miles to go through. Everybody goes on the last lap. Here is Mark Taylor. Mark still racing hard. Immediately behind Mark is Tom O'Rourke, who's in 10th. Rick Collett still going on the lead lap in his Division 2 truck. He's in 11th for picking up valuable points again. And Ryan Smith has caught the leaders, but I don't think he's going to have time to be able to deal with Jamie Anderson and Shane, Brer Shane Brereton out front. John Newell trying to close in on Simon Reid. John seventh, Simon Reid in sixth position. It looks like we're going to see a win from Jamie Anderson or Shane Brereton who go through Compass again. And Ryan Smith is very close. Are we going to see a last corner burn up from Ryan Smith to maybe take the win? Here they come down the straight. Smith maybe a little bit too far away. Brereton might have a go too. He looks as if he's a couple of lengths down at the moment on Jamie Anderson. A long exhibition straight. In towards the S's they go for the last time. Brereton closes up under braking but it's going to be the 23 truck of Jamie Anderson who's going to take the win. Shane Brereton will take second place. There's the checker. Anderson wins. Brereton second. Ryan Smith third. David Jenkins is in fourth. Stuart Oliver there is fifth. A race between John Newell and Simon Reid for sixth and seventh position. Down behind them, it is going to be Terry Gibbon is the result. Anderson Brereton, Ryan Smith third. Dave Jenkins fourth of Stuart Oliver, John Neal and Simon Reid, then Terry Gibbon and Mark Taylor. Tom O'Rourke completes the top ten ahead of Ricky Collett. Fastest lap, Ryan Smith. Jamie Anderson, congratulations. Neat for us, you were the first guy we interviewed this weekend and it looks like you'll be one of the final ones by virtue of a great win. To finish the weekend off with a win on a home event, uh, you know, we can't fault it. You know, it was a clean drive and that's where we needed to be. Uh, got some pressure off Shane and, and things, but uh, no other than that, we had a clean drive. It was a good race, that was. We've ordered the truck again and uh, got a bit more grip in her that time. Jamie sort of like mid-race was holding me up. Uh, uh, the gravel come and chicane damaging both of us. So uh, you just have to sort of be a bit safe and finish really. <laughs> Championship table looks like this. Ryan Smith, 27 points clear of David Jenkins. Mark Taylor still in third from John Neal. Ray Coleman fifth from Simon Reid. And then Richard Collett. In Division 2, Luke Garrett with a 51 point lead over Steve Powell. Brad Smith in third from John Moller. Four events and John Powell in sixth. Well, the end of another superb two days truck racing here at Donington Park. Everyone's heading home happy after a superb weekend's racing. Join us next time when the championship moves to Norfolk. Snedderton Circuit is the venue. We look forward to your company there. Bye for now.